looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the most overpowered players in Madden 21 right now, guys. Now, the thing with this list, guys, as per usual, they're in order, kind of, not exactly, guys. Remember, if they're the top eight most overpowered players in the game, they're all overpowered. I'm not really going to be sitting here, you know, trying to argue which one's better than the other. At the end of the day, it comes down to what you like. And that's the issue with ranking players in a football game, is that you may have a run-heavy scheme. So if I rank this wide receiver as number one on the list, but you only run the ball to you, that makes no sense, right? It's like, wait, but running is more dominant for me. So don't take the list for gospel. The players on it, yes, but do not go ahead and think that, because I have a running back at pick eight means that he's not as overpowered as having a wide receiver. No, it means that I just put him on that list. I just didn't, I just put him there, right? So don't take it exact. But guys, before we do get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys, come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always, and always comment down below. Let me know down below who is your most overpowered player in the game by your opinion. Commenting and liking helps out a lot, so keep it up, boys. But let's get into this list because you know this video could go over sometimes right we know the deal with that but let's get into player number eight this player has been out for a little bit hasn't been out too long but his promo already is over for the year so you do know that's been out for at least a decent amount of time right because it wasn't even the last drop arian foster ltd over here he's one of the most overpowered players in the game let me tell you why he gets 95 speed 97 excel 97 agility 90 carrying 83 catching 97 change of direction 92 trucking 99 break tackle and 85 strength now why is he better than running back speed 96 speed you compare him to guys like Bo, Dalvin Cook, uh, Derrick Henry, all these guys who have a little bit better speed or the same. Aaron Foster more than likely has a better excel, has a better agility, has way better catching, better change of direction, better break tackle, and similar strength, if not better. Now, why is that important? And he's like the ideal height. Six foot one, 227 is like that ideal where he's not too chunky and big to where he gets tackled every time, but not too small to where he can't, feel, he can't seem to run through tackles. So Aaron Foster is the perfect ideal back. He can both catch juke he can excel past people he has he's quick and he can, he's also a power back at the same time like this is overall he's just a crazy back like all around 97 juking that can get up to 99 with ease a above 90 spin with ease stiff arm he's like the perfect madden back right now with 88 short running which if you really want to you can also get that up to a 90 plus if you really want to just come up there but can't go wrong with arian foster guys uh next on the list at number seven is one of the newer guys now, he would have been higher if another guy wasn't about to come out that's going to dethrone him pretty soon. That's Chase Young, 97 overall defensive rookie of the year. Guys, 90 speed, 95 excel, can't be taught. That is a phenom at end right there in Madden. That speed is going to be different. That's like Montez Sweat, except it's a 97 overall. He also comes stock with a 95 tackle, a 96 finesse move, and a 94 block shot. Yes, his finesse and block shot could be higher, but that finesse will get to a 99. So 99 with 90 and 95 speed slash excel right there. That's going to be a crazy duo. Six foot five. The only thing that would make this card even like top three would have been a power up. But otherwise, Chase Young is super, super good. Next on the list, guys. Guys, he's been on the list all year. You really just can't take him off. It's impossible. He just plays too good. Lawrence Taylor, 500K still going strong. 96 overall. He's going to end up, again, powered up and kept up. 93 speed, 96 excel. Going to make Chase Young look a little slow right there. Uh, also with more strength, more tackle with a 95 power move, powered up and chemmed up, we'll get 99 power move, we'll get 92 block shed with a 93 speed, 96 excel. Again, same thing as Chase Young, except he can be powered up and he'll get another upgrade in the near future. Chase Young very well, maybe done with upgrades for the year. We all know Lawrence Taylor is getting an ultimate legend, potentially as soon as tomorrow, maybe a bit later. Next in the list, number five is Tyree Kill. Guys, you can't teach speed. Like I said, powered up and chemmed up with Sprinter, he will have 99 speed. All the route running thresholds, including maybe 99 short, medium, or deep, depending on the thing you go, as well as he can catch. He's five foot ten, which sometimes when you're small, you're a little quicker. And he gets carrying. He has 96 change of direction, 96 juking, 89 break tackle, 90 powered up and chemmed up. He's just all around crazy, guys. Tyreek Kill is going to be a speed demon that cannot be stopped. He's going to be an end game card because at the end of the day, with thresholds, you really need to upgrade him if you have 99 speed, right? Next on the list, someone who just came out like yesterday, I believe, or two days ago, Derwin James coming at number four. He's a great guy, and a lot of you guys may have, have may even have him for free, right? He's a 97 overall, strong safety, powered up and chemmed up, right? He will have 96 speed and 98 excel. 96 speed, 98 excel at safety. And not to mention, he can probably get up to 98 with sprinter. With 6'2 height, and it gets even better, right? He has 89 tackle, which will be 90 powered up. 
he'll get 99 play rec powered up and chemed up he'll get 96 pursuit 99 man coverage 99 zone coverage 97 hit power so he is simultaneously the fastest quickest one of the tallest one of the best zone man and hitting safeties in the game all bundled into one with a 91 change of direction you know an 88 press which is going to get to above 90 he can do everything on the field Darren james is going to be an absolute stud in madden if you guys don't already know that or if people who use him already know that Darren james is great he's going to be a great guy i mean if you could if you have money your team that's great next on the list guys is going to be aaron donald now i don't have a card for him because like i said guys i'm dropping this video uh because i'm leaving so i will be gone at this point but when you guys are watching this aaron donald and aaron Rodgers should be out already so they're going to be on this list so aaron donald's going to come in at number three aaron donald's going to be a defensive player of the year probably 98 overall which gets up to 99 um powered up i believe more than likely or 97 gets up to 98 either way aaron donald's going to be a game breaking card guys that aaron donald that we're going to get the defensive player of the year it's going to be great, right? We, we already know the deal. He's 96K now, but again, this is the next one's going to be a 90. Probably get, He's going to get to 98, 99. He's going to have like 86, I would say 86 speed. Um, probably 86, 87 speed who have above 90 excel. He'll probably have 99 strength, if not close to it. Above 90 tackle, but his power move will be a 97, 98. And his block shot will be a 96, 97, 98 right there too. So he's going to almost be a 99 block shedder and power mover with 280 pounds, 6 foot 1, 99 strength, some good agility, some good speed, some good height. He's going to be good at everything. Impact blocking, hip power. He's going to be probably the best end in the game, if not right there for it. And he comes out shortly. We know, we, we know we're getting him. That's why I'm putting him on the list. But again, we do have to wait, for, of course, for his next card, which is going to come out sometime this week. And then next, guys, another guy on this list that I think is super meta is going to be the new LTD for the Super Bowl that just came out not too long ago. Vernon Davis. If you guys have been playing Madden long enough, guys, Vernon Davis is probably my, one of my all-time favorite Madden cards. I used to love his cards back when he was in his prime in the real life. Vernon Davis. Power, he can power, power it up, guys, from 98 overall. Powered up and kept up, people have a 94 speed, 97 strength. Already, right off the rip, you're getting a strong and the fastest time in the game. It's already meta, right? That you can stop talking. 93 catching. 93 catching traffic, 93 spec catch. He can catch, he's strong, and he can run. Done. Bye, right? 91, 92 short running and 90 medium air running powered up. And Cam Dub will be even higher and 81 run blocking. So at the same time, guys, he is the fastest tight end, one of the best catching tight ends with thresholds, and one of the best route running throughout, you know, tight ends to get threshold as well. And he can run block with above an 80 run block, which a lot of tight ends that are meta don't have. He's the best tight end in the game by far. He also comes built with 95 acceleration, which is crazy as well, with a 90 stiff arm, with an 88 change of direction, which could potentially get up to a 90, depending on what you put on him. And all of his blocking is good. 84 impact blocking, 80 lead blocking, like... He is good all around. His pass blocking is not great. It's actually pretty decent for a tight end considering, you know, you don't really use him for pass blocking. He's probably running a route. And then finally, guys, on this list, the final guy, which I'm super excited for. I think he's going to be the best quarterback in the game, pending abilities and everything else. But he may even get a 99 overall. Well, he will. He will get a 99. I don't know if it's going to be base or if it's going to be um, powered up, though. Aaron Rodgers is about to get a 99 overall NFL MVP card. Now, powered up and chemmed up. That Aaron Rodgers will be 99 overall. He will have an 84 speed more than likely, 84 speed, which is going to be great. 99 throw power, 99 throw short. He will end up with like a 97 medium and a 99 throw deep. So he's going to be a 99 throw deep, 99 throw short. And again, guys, screw it. Let's go to chemmed up, right? He's going to have uh, play fake on him. He ends up with 99 throw short, probably 99 throw deep and 99 medium, if not close to all three, with a 99 throw power with high throw under pressure, high throw under the run and play action, high 90s. Now, again, he is an improviser. Of a pending abilities, Aaron Rodgers has the potential to be the greatest quarterback in Madden right now, guys. And that's why he's number one on this list. He's going to be great. He's going to be an end game card. He's going to, if he can get a, you know, field general, you know, he's not a field general. If he can get like a hot round master or something, he could very well be up there. He's going to have that speed that you want at a quarterback spot with all the throwing abilities. And it's Aaron Rodgers. So remember, Aaron Rodgers always gets a bump in, uh, you know, value because of his ability to throw the, the ball faster. Everyone loves his release. They claim Aaron Rodgers has the fastest release in the game. It's almost like having Gunslinger automatically. So, the thing with Aaron Rodgers is he's going to be valuable because he's going to be the highest quarterback in the game with all the ideal stats, potentially with abilities, and he gets the release everyone wants. So Aaron Rodgers is going to be meta, no matter what anyone says. It's going to be meta once it comes out. Uh, again, sure, we just got the newer ones today as I'm recording this, so this you probably won't be seeing Aaron Rodgers for another two to four days. By the time I'm recording this, he may be out. Well, by the time you're seeing this, he may be out. And if not, you guys know the deal. He's coming out. But those are my top eight. I don't want to leave him out because then as soon as they drop, my list is already no, null and void, already outdated. So... I had to throw them in there but guys that's better for the video 
Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like that, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what's up. Who is your favorite player on this list or who's your player that's not on this list that should be on this list and like the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you need coins, pick any of them up. Head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for a great discount. I'm out. Peace.